Here we have a Dell Latitude E7440, which won't start. The symptoms are that once you put the charging cable in and press the power button, the power button lights up for a while and there's no picture, there's nothing and then the power button goes off. This takes roughly 30 seconds. If these are your symptoms, more than likely the CMOS battery has expired and needs to be replaced. We're going to start by removing the charging cable and the battery. Once the battery has been removed, we can access the two screws holding the bottom faceplate to the rest of the chassis. Once the faceplate has been removed, we can access the battery itself. The battery is a normal CR2032, however it uses leads to attach itself to the motherboard. The connector is stuck to the motherboard very tightly, so using a spudger will help you detach the battery. The battery is also glued down using double-sided tape, so using the spudger again will help you loosen it from the computer. To make sure that the battery is the problem, we're going to start the computer without the battery. We should throw an error about the CMOS battery running out and that you should replace it. If the computer doesn't start even after removing the battery, then the battery is not the problem. And as we can see, in our case, we do get an error and it's the battery. We can continue with the replacement. Now, to be absolutely sure, we're just going to reconnect the battery. And if the issue comes back, then we know that it's definitely the battery. Because then that was the only part that changed between a working computer and not working computer. Start by turning off the computer, disconnecting the power and then reattaching the battery, then attaching the power again and turning the machine on. If it doesn't turn on properly, then you know that it's the battery because that was the only part that changed. As we can see, once the battery has been reattached, the machine stops working. So, we're going to replace the battery. As we can see, it's labeled CR2032, and we'll be cutting it out of the protective plastic, and we're going to remove the welded tabs from the battery itself. Sadly, the welded tabs cannot be used to solder it to a new battery. In fact, do not try to solder lithium batteries, especially these coin cells. Not only are you not able to get anything to stick, they have a rather high chance for them to explode. 
Now, if you have a spot welder, technically you could just rip the pads off this one and then spot weld them to a new one. And that would be a really, really fast fix. In our case, we're going to take the tabs off and we're going to strip the wires and we're going to solder the wires to metal plates taken from a battery holder because space is in a premium in that particular Dell so we don't have space to use the holder itself. The easiest way to take the tabs off is to use some pliers like I'm using my Leatherman here and just curl it off like you would be pulling a pull tab can open. If you don't feel like doing that you can basically just snip the cables right at the end because if you're soldering the wires you don't need the tabs. Here's our new battery and here is the battery holder which we'll just use to pull out the metal tabs. Once you have the tabs we'll add a little bit of solder to them and a little bit of solder to the stripped ends of the original wires and solder them together. As you may note the tab has a little piece that is sticking up a little bit both of the tabs have this, and these are used normally to hold the coin cell in the battery holder. What we're going to do is use that to our advantage and wrap the cell into a package using Captain Tape. It's not going to be very pretty, but it'll work. As you can see, the parts are so tiny and so light that they easily stick to the soldering iron using only the surface tension of the molten solder. So if you want this to not happen to you, you can stick them to the surface that you're soldering on with some captain tape, or you can use something to hold them down, or you can use helping hands, which will clip them with their alligator clips and hold them in position. Once we've made sure that we're putting the right tab on the right side, we'll just wrap some captain tape around the cell and trim the excess and we're done. Note that you should not replace captain tape with any other tape. Electrician's tape will work, but it has a worse adhesive and other tapes may conduct electricity, so that will be bad. So this is why we're using captain tape. Once the wrapping is done, we'll just go ahead and plug this to the computer. Because of the captain tape, our battery is a little bit bigger, so it'll fit in snugly and doesn't need the double-sided tape to hold it in place. Now that the new battery is in place, we'll just go ahead and do a test, start the computer, see what kind of error message we get, and see whether the fix was successful. And the error message is that our partition table is broken, and we need to do something about that. But as for the CMOS battery, the replacement is successful, the battery now works, so we'll go ahead and shut down the computer and close up the bottom panel and replace the battery.